Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Saad, and you're watching Math Eat by Saad. This is a channel where I make videos for O level and IGCSE math and A level math. So a lot has changed in the past couple of weeks. Let me update you guys. Number one, as you guys can probably see, we now have a new setup. Yes, from this setup is where I will now be making my YouTube videos and taking all my classes. Secondly, and this is a big one. We now thankfully have a website. Yep, it's www.mathleadbysouth.com and uh, my online classes for students who have their exams in May, June 2025, where I will be teaching O level maths and ad maths and say IGCSE as well and A level math. For A level, I'll be teaching P1, P3, M1, and S1. So if you want to register, you can do that through the website now. I'll repeat it's www.mathleadbysouth.com and do give your feedback also in the comment section. So now the reason behind I'm making this video is uh, when I announced my online classes, uh, a lot of you had questions. I get these questions every year and there's nothing new. So as always, I thought that I will make a video answering these questions. So I've taken out 10 of the most frequently asked questions and I'll be going over them one by one and answering them. And by the end of the video, if you think that there's a question which you had in mind and I haven't answered, let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So the first question, how long is this course? So this will go on till the exams. The classes will go on till exams. There is no end date as such. It's not a three month, five month crash course. Crash courses will start from January, which will also go till the end of the exam. The syllabus, however, will be completed six weeks or a month, or two months, hopefully. Uh, prior to exam. So I hope that answers your question. Will there be any courses for October, November 2024 students? Sadly, no, I don't teach October, November at all. But the good news is if you want pre-recorded material from last year, you can do that from the website. Uh, on the website, you'll find that AS uh, videos are up. We are in the process of uploading more videos as well. But if you want to, let's say, purchase material for O-level math or ad maths and you don't find that on the website, you can reach out to me on Instagram and we will take it from there. Are these classes live and can I ask questions? Yes, these classes are live and you obviously can ask questions. So uh, there is two-way communication. And uh, in fact, we I encourage students to ask questions during class and once obviously I'm done explaining a concept and uh, what happens is you know once we have covered like difficult topics back to back then a lot of questions pile up you know as students are practicing so what we do is we have a Q&A session which is separate from the scheduled classes that we have and um, there I answer all the queries. So yeah, this, these classes are live and you can obviously ask questions also. Will recordings of the classes be provided? Yes, recordings of the classes will be provided. However, because of that, you're not encouraged to miss classes. But the reason why I give out recordings is because to students who enroll, obviously, is because students sometimes have a clash and, you know, close to the exams where I'm taking a lot of extra classes and students who are taking classes of other subjects, their teachers are also taking extra classes. So there's bound to be a clash. And because of the time difference, sometimes if let's say you're from a different country, Maybe when I'm having a class, uh, you may be in school. So because of all of that, you will get the recording of the class immediately once we're done. But still having said that, I don't encourage you to miss a class. Okay, then can I register after my October, November 2024 exams? Well, uh, that's a bit risky. Why? Because every year I take a limited number of students. And as soon as uh, we reach that number, we close the registrations and registrations usually close sooner than the official date. So we haven't announced an official date yet, but but let's say it's 1st of August. So registrations will probably close before that because we reached that number very soon this year. We got an even better response from last year. So it's a bit risky. However, there is going to be a waiting list where you will be contacted if let's say a student drops out or if a student is asked to leave, which I'll explain later. But yeah, it's not a sure shot, it's a gamble. So it's up to you. I would suggest that you sign up immediately and then maybe you can take a break where you're not attending the classes live but you're catching up by watching the recordings since you have your exam and then once you're done with the exam you can start attending classes live okay then the next question is can a slash a level students join only for m1s1 yes you can absolutely do that m1s1 classes will start from january so at this point i should mention that p1 p3 will be done with p1 and p3 by december and january onwards we will be starting m1s1 the only component that i'm not teaching by the way is s2 so do keep that in mind so if, if let's say you want to study s2 or if you've opted for s2 then what you can do is you can study p3 with me 
and then for S2 you can reach out to any other teacher if you want that is if you want to do P3 with me okay well will these classes be uploaded on YouTube no these classes are not uploaded on YouTube some uh, classes are so what I usually do is I make separate videos for YouTube but uh, if let's say there's a topic which is in demand and I can't find myself the time to make a video on it to post on YouTube so in that case I post the recording of that topic so yeah why should I pay for it when there are already so many videos on YouTube okay that's a good question it's a question I get every year it's a very legit question so here's what I would suggest if you rank yourself somewhere in between let's say an average or a below average student then you should definitely join these classes. In that case, my assumption is, and I'm sure it's true, that you're not one of those self-motivated, self-driven students, okay? You want someone to push you, you want someone to sort of uh, keep a check on you and hold you accountable. So if, if you fall in that category, and you know, it's perfectly all right to fall in that category, I personally also fall in that category. So in that case, I would suggest that you join these classes. If however, you are, let's say, self-motivated, you are, punctual and uh, you can sort of make a schedule for yourself and uh, you know you don't really need someone to hold you accountable you, you yourself can do that uh, in that case yes there's plenty of content already on youtube not just on my channel there's obviously sir zain's channel and i think combined there's enough content for you to not just pass the exam but to ace it so yeah uh, that's how it is as far as math is concerned or what you can do is a lot of students who are like I said rank themselves above average uh, at an above average level what they do is they either join just the crash course which like I said starts in January where things are fast paced and you know we're not going in a lot of depth because I'm assuming you know you are kind of smarter than students who opt for not smarter that's not the correct way to put it but you are uh, sort of more in practice compared to the students who uh, opt for the regular batch, okay? Mostly students who are private opt for uh, the regular batch. So that, these classes is uh, their only source of knowledge. If you're, if let's say you're a school going student and you've been doing well, you can just take the crash course or you can just sign up for the past paper session which starts a month or two before the exams. Okay, uh, next question is, will you be solving past papers? Obviously, I will be solving past papers as I just mentioned that there will be past paper session towards the end, a month or two before the exam and uh, not just towards the end, but in between also while we're covering topics, we're solving topical past papers on the way. So without past papers, it's practically impossible to do well in math. So yeah, last question, will there be tests, homework, assignments, and do I need to buy anything prior to joining? No, you don't need to buy anything. I'll answer that first. Uh, all the resources will be provided. However, I do suggest all my students to get a hold of, hold of uh, yearly past papers in a hard copy form so that you know, you're know you used to solving past papers the way that you're supposed to in the exam so that it doesn't come as like a shock to you. However, as far as tests, homework, and assignments are concerned, yes, there will be tests, there will be homework, and my team has very strict instructions that if a student misses a test immediately they're asked to leave however however the test is usually held uh, on a on a date which is informed like well in advance number one and secondly there is an extended period of time during which you can give the test but once you start you have to give it within the specified time so let's say the test is on saturday so it will be available from 12 p.m to 6 p.m okay let's say but once you start let's say you start your test at 4 p.m then you have to give it if it's a one hour test then you have to submit it by 5 p.m okay if if you miss the test then the student like I said is immediately asked to leave and uh, they're not allowed to enroll again and that is when new <laughs> spots open up for students like I said who are in the waiting list they're contacted and then they can join but yeah you're in case of attendance yes you're excused but if you miss a test then there is no excuse which is accepted at all so yeah that's it those were 10 of the most frequently asked questions and I hope I haven't missed anything if I have you can let me know in the comment section and I'll get straight to it so yeah, that's it fellas. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.